Hello and welcome back to RoboRemo tutorial. Remember this RC car? The press actions for the buttons are F, B, L and R. So forward, backward, left and right. And the release action is S for these two buttons, so stop when I release the button. And C for these two buttons, so center the steering wheels when I release the button. So in the Arduino code we check for these six commands. F B L R S and C So when I press forward the car moves forward and when I release the button the car stops Now guess what happens if I lose the connection while the button is pressed I will simulate losing the connection by closing the app That is because the motor stops when the Arduino receives command S for stop. And the command S is the button release action. But if I lose connection or disconnect before releasing the button, that command will not be sent to the Arduino. And this may get you in real trouble. Imagine you play outside with a bigger car and you lose connection and the car continues moving. So we need a feature that will stop the car if the connection is lost. Here is the time to use the heartbeat sender. So I edit the interface, add the heartbeat sender, configure its ID, for example alive, and the repeat period, for example 500 milliseconds. So now it's sending alive twice per second. And if I lose connection or disconnect, it also stops sending the alive command. So now in the Arduino code, I must periodically check for receiving the alive command. And if I don't receive it, I must stop the motor. So here is what I modified in the Arduino code. I added this variable here that will store the time moment when the alive command is received. And here I'm checking for the alive command and update that variable. And in the loop function I added this condition here. The millis function will get me the current time moment. And this is the time moment when I received the alive command. So when I don't receive the alive command this expression starts to increase. And if I don't receive it for 600 milliseconds I turn off the motors. This number here must be bigger than the period of the heartbeat sender. So the heartbeat sender will send alive every 500 milliseconds. If I lose connection, the Arduino will not receive that command anymore and this expression will start to get bigger. And if it exceeds 600, we'll turn off the motors. And here's the demo with the new code. And you can also hide the heartbeat sender if you want. Here is how. I edit the user interface. I make it smaller and I move it under this button. But it stays on top because it is the last item that I added in the interface. To move it under the button I need to make this button be the last item. So I copy this button, remove it and paste again. 